Hello, my name is Jamie and it's been a while since I last uploaded a video and man, I feel like I'm always apologizing for not uploading consistently but yeah, I have to say sorry again because the past two months literally just flew by. I have no idea that it was possible for time to fly this fast. But anyway, I'm here now and I'm going to be doing a paint with me video and I will also be updating you guys about my life. So it is going to be a bit of a chatty video. Feel free to be playing this video in the background while you do your other stuff. I wanted to try to do more talking videos as well because a lot of people have been commenting about my voice. That is definitely not something that I expected to see in my comments quite often. And I also had someone, a classmate, tell me that they liked my voice, which was very interesting. So here it is, here is my voice, and here is a very talkative video for you guys. Let's set this keyboard aside. Don't mind this. This is literally just pieces of paper that I taped to the back of my keyboard so that it would be slightly more elevated. Very nice. Oh, I still need some water. Okay, clean water is acquired. It's in this and I have a little syringe thing that I can use to drop on to the paint, whatever. You'll see. So I decided that I'm going to continue practicing my watercolor uh, skills, the very little skills that I have, because in one of the subjects that I had in the summer classes that I just took, we were tasked to create a bookmark and I used watercolor. I think the design is really pretty. It is inspired by uh, this YouTuber. I found it very pretty and I wanted to recreate it so that I could put it up on my wall, you know. Okay, first of all, I have not been able to upload as much as I wanted to do because of classes. In my university and my course specifically, we are required to take classes during the summer. So that kind of just means I will not be able to have a summer vacation until I've graduated. Uh, um, which is a little bit sad, but you know, it is what it is. And I found out that I only had three classes for this summer semester. So I was like, great! I could film a lot, I could you know, focus more on YouTube because in the past regular semesters, I literally had no time because I was putting all of my... I don't know. I was, I was giving everything for classes. And it did pay off, so I did get really high grades. So I'm not gonna say it's not worth it, but I still want to do YouTube alongside classes. But anyway, um, the moment that classes started, and we were given like our first week of work. I was so stuck. I've never felt more like stuck in my life before with, with schoolwork. I literally felt so unmotivated and so like lazy for some reason. So I, I already found it difficult to do schoolwork. It was going to be even more difficult to balance schoolwork and YouTube. So I decided to just take a quick break from YouTube and just continue on with my classes. Hold on, let me just get something. You do the sponge too, okay? Okay. Sure, why not? And as you can guess, the reason why I'm able to upload again is because the term is over. I have nothing much to worry about now aside from my grades releasing, which is a little bit scary, admittedly, yeah. But there's not much I could do about it, you know? I'm just taking some water. I'm actually using acrylic paint and just mixing water in. Since it's water soluble anyway, gonna work out. I literally haven't felt academic burnout like that. Like yeah, there are times like in the previous school years that I've experienced that I feel lazy but I've always recovered from it, you know? It's never as intense as it was but luckily as time went on, you know, I was able to get back into the flow and I think I got good enough grades for me to maintain whatever I've attained in the previous school year. This week has been a little bit weird, you know, because at the beginning of the week, we had our exams, so that was very mentally draining in itself. It was, it was very intense, actually, because there were so many, like, stuff that we needed to do, a lot of group work, surprisingly. And the group work actually was very helpful. It helped me um, force myself to socialize with my classmates because you know, a lot of it is still online and I can't really 
be or sit next to my classmates and talk to them like that. So group work was the next best thing for me to try to make acquaintances at least. That was very interesting. And then, okay, so I had exams on Monday, right? And then on Tuesday, I decided to rest. I did not do anything and I just let myself be lazy for that day for once. And then on Wednesday, which was, yeah, which was yesterday, I planned to go out and, you know, file for taxes because it's a quarterly thing that I need to do now. But at around like nine in the morning, I experienced the strongest earthquake I've ever experienced. It was genuinely so scary. And the more that I tried to think of it, the less I remember, if that makes sense at all. But I just do remember like sitting on the couch over there and like thinking, is it shaking? The earthquakes that I've experienced, they only last about like five seconds. But this, this lasted like, I have no idea, like 20 seconds. It was the longest and strongest earthquake I've ever experienced. And it was like, I think a 7.2 magnitude at the epicenter. So over where I am, um, I think I, we just experienced a six. The day ended before it could even start. That's why yesterday was a really weird day, and that's why the neighborhood is only starting to wake up now, you know? Gladly, the aftershocks over here aren't that bad, um, but there were a few. I have felt some of them. Okay, let me move on to something that I've been enjoying the past few weeks. Oh my goodness, okay. I want to move on. Let's move on. Okay. I think in the span of three or four weeks, I was able to binge watch the entire Stranger Things uh, franchise. Franchise? Is that the right word? But I, I just binge watched all of Stranger Things from season one to four. It was so, it was, it's, it's so good. <laughs> I really did not expect Stranger Things to be that good because like I see some of my friends talk about it on social media and I actually saw a scene from season four before I even watched it at all. And it's that scene with Max running away from Vecna. It was on TikTok. I don't know. I think I cried the first time I saw it, even if I never watched Stranger Things. And when I eventually got to that part of Stranger Things, I did, in fact, cry. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's the very first pedal. And I'm definitely not good at this. Yeah. <laughs> Ew. I'm not really feeling that. But it's fine. I could redeem myself. Not the best. I remember thinking that season 2 was my absolute favorite out of the entire show. Because season 3 got really weird. And like it changed up a lot. And I felt like it lost the Stranger Things essence. Because it, was, it felt a little overproduced in my opinion in the third season. But then when I got to season 4 fell in love with season 4 and then I saw the importance of season 3. Slight spoiler, but not really. Season 4 uses a lot of references from season 3. I see why they did what they did in season 3. I think if I were to pick a favorite season, I would say season 4. Season 4 was amazing. With the new characters. Oh my gosh, Eddie. I am on the Eddie hype train or whatever. Joseph Quinn is just like a huge sweetheart. Like, you cannot deny that fact. After I binged watched Stranger Things, I kind of, you know, went through some kind of withdrawal. Because <laughs> after watching Stranger Things for almost a month straight, it felt weird to not watch it anymore. So I went around YouTube and looking around for interviews and stuff like that. And I came across this one video where some of the cast played D&D, Dungeons and Dragons, and it was so fun. I, I, I really enjoyed it. You know, the, the storytelling, the creativity, the roleplay, everything about it was very interesting to me. So after I watched that, I went ahead and searched for more D&D campaigns because I was very curious and I wanted, you know, to, to look further. And then the most amazing thing happened. I found, I found Dimension 20. Brennan Lee Mulligan is in here, is one of like the DMs in the campaign called The Unsleeping City. I love Brennan. <laughs> his 
I don't, I don't know what about it. I watched Game Changer a lot, like the shorts, because I don't really have the money to spend on a subscription at the moment. As much as I want to, oh my gosh. But I just love the, I don't know the right terms, but I just love how Brennan makes jokes and how he's so creative. So when I found out that he has like a D&D campaign, I, I jumped immediately and like started watching it. So The Unsleeping City, it's so good, man. If you're into like roleplay, storytelling, creativity, stuff like that, please check them out. Please check them out. Oh my gosh, it's so good. They're so good. All of them, all of the players, not just Brennan. You know, everyone from Dropout are like incredibly funny and creative and I'm so jealous of that. I want to be them. So yes, even though I knew nothing about Dungeons and Dragons, I immediately started watching it. You know, I still don't know a lot of stuff that they talk about, but I'm starting to get more familiar with like the, the terms. Will I ever play D&D though? Will I ever participate in an actual campaign? Maybe not. Um, <laughs> I'm not really liking how that's going, so I'm gonna let it dry and then I think I'm going to be using a lighter magenta for the other flowers. But as I wait, let us talk a little bit more because I love <laughs> talking about these things, man. I feel like I've been deprived of my, my passions, which basically, but not really because I am still passionate about psychology, so I didn't really mind um, doing as much psychology work as I did. Anyway, okay, so as you can see, my hair is looking a little bit long. And some might ask if I am growing up my hair. And the answer to that is no. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not growing up my hair after I've convinced you to cut yours. I just haven't had the time to, like, you know, go to a barber. So at the moment, I'm just putting in, like, pins and trying out like gel stuff or whatever to see whatever works and like this these pieces over here like near my neck i kind of hate them because <laughs> they're so messy and like you can't see the back but it, it, it's messy summarize that i'm not growing my hair out just yet no thank you every time that i think of growing out my hair again i just think back to the times when i had to wash it and like had to wait hours on end for it to dry this is fine, you know, I'd I rather keep it short for as long as I can. I think that I've talked about a lot of stuff that I already wanted to tell you guys about. So I think the rest of the video is just going to be me talking about the painting that I'm going to do because I'm realizing that I cannot um, multitask in that way, which is fine. I guess that's fine. I don't know if I've mentioned it at all, actually. The colors that I'm using is magenta. First, it's like the really light one. And then I have the primary magenta, which is the darker one. Like, can you not see this? It's so pretty. Like, the, the, the paint that I used for the flowers in this bookmark, that's primary magenta, and it's so beautiful. So actually, right now, I'm just mixing the acrylic paint with some water, and then I think I want to darken it up a little bit with some of the primary magenta that I have. So I want to add a little bit three flower petal over here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Try to make a really tiny one. Not turning out great already. <laughs> it's alright. Okay. This could still be saved because I am going to outline it with, um, with glitter pens. And I think glitter could save any kind of artwork from anything. So yeah, I will just let this dry and then after that I'm going I think I'm going to be painting stems. In the trial that I did, if you could see that, I really liked how the stems turned out. I didn't leave enough I guess I didn't leave enough like negative space for me to put it on, but we shall see. We shall see. And I think you could see over here I did some tests <laughs> to see if it's good. Like I already mixed some green over here.
<laughs> it's a bit overload. Oh, but I will go back and do a little bit of outlining and stuff like that, like how I did here. I'm not sure if you could tell that it's glitter pen, but it is glitter pen. And I think I think the outlines is what makes it look better. Okay, so it has been a while, and I also realized that uh, when I was filming all of those painting parts, I was wearing my headphones. I hope you don't mind that, so I took it off now. And, but, and I'm really, I'm kind of happy with how it turned out, you know? It's kind of cute. Now that I've cut it out and added the outlines, I think everything came together because of the outlines, especially the, the stems. I think the green glitter gel pen really did the, the trick. I find it really, really cute. There we go. There's the life update and the painting with me video. I hope I did not ramble too much and I hope I was able to get everything that I wanted to say out there. But in case I wasn't able to, basically, I'm fine. I'm doing well. School has beaten me up quite a bit, but we're back and I'm going to try to as make as much videos as I can while classes are out. If you are ever so kind to do so, please, please comment on the things that you've been doing recently if you've watched stranger things what do you think of it or i don't know just update me as well on your life since i updated you guys about mine i do want to know a little bit more about you guys i am rambling once again so i'm going to let you go before i bore you anymore <laughs> okay thank you so much genuinely for your patience for your love for your comments i read every single one i swear please stay safe and Stay hydrated, okay? You are loved, you are appreciated. Bye!